how to change rear brakes and rotors on a 2015 Mazda 3. Tools that you probably have in your shop already. 21 millimeter socket or lug wrench to get off the tire. Uh, brush, pry bar, wrench, 14 millimeter, and a hammer. You might need a bigger hammer. Uh, stuff you may not have that you should buy. You're going to need some kind of brake cleaner. Uh, you don't need anti-seize, but it helps. Brakes, obviously. Uh, a brake retractor tool. You can get this at any auto store. They're like five bucks. And I'm going to be replacing the rotors. If you don't know how to jack up your car, read the owner's manual. But there's a jack point right under here. I already went through and I just gave these half a turn before I jacked the car up. Now that we got the wheel off, make sure your parking brake is not on. This should turn. Okay. If you're just doing the pad, you can lift this part off. There's two bolts here and here. But to get the, the whole rotor off, we have to take this part off. So, 14 millimeter bolts. Here's your caliper. Just be careful you don't put a lot of stress on your brake line. Um, fortunately, this is going to actually rest on the emergency brake line. That's going to hold it. Here's your brake pads. Might have to pry them out. Alright. This is why you don't go to the dealership. The dealership told me that I need new brake pads. These still have a good year left on them, easily. I mean, as long as I got them off, I'm going to replace them. Replace the rotor. So we got to take this piece off to get to the rotor. Again, 14 millimeter, there's two bolts back here. Chances are your rotor is not going to come off because um, it ends up kind of corroding and seizing onto the hub. So I'm going to show you how to get that off. You're going to take a hammer and carefully you're going to whack behind here with the hammer and then rotate this. That's not working. We're going to get a bigger hammer. There we go. So if you look at the back side of that, it was all rusted. And that was getting caught on these edges. Okay, shipped from the factory. These have a layer of oil to keep them from rusting. So you got to take your brake cleaner and clean it off. Out of the picture. Before we put this back on, I'm going to take some anti seize and I'm just going to put it around the hub so hopefully that doesn't happen again. You don't have to do this, it's just kind of a precaution if you plan on doing brakes again in the next 50,000 miles. This goes on next. I'm going to clean all the gunk out of here. Now, from using your brake, this piston's going to get pushed out, so you have to push it back in. But because you have an emergency brake that's cable actuated, there's like a screw mechanism. So you essentially have to screw this back in. That's where the brake cube comes in. So look at this thing and find a set of pins on it that kind of match yours and tighten it up. So the rubber got all warped, so I'm going to go a little past where I need it, and then I'll reverse it just a hair. If you notice, they're a little different. This one here has a pin. That pin interlocks with the uh, piston. This one also has a scraper, which will scrape against the rotor when the pad wears down enough and make a horrible squeal sound. So this one goes on the inside, where the piston's located. So you're just going to slide that in both sides. Same thing on the other one. One there. There you go. We're going to slide this back on. Make sure that our slide pins are out of the way. And put our bolts back on.
All right, so we just tightened all these to 90 foot-pounds. You want to drive about 40, 50 miles and then double check it. Also, before your first outing, you want to start the car. Before you go anywhere, pump the brakes five or six times to push that piston back out that we pushed in. And when you go out for your first drive, uh, it's a good idea to get up to about 30 miles an hour and then just step on the brakes pretty firmly and do that two or three times uh, to help seat the brake pads against the new rotors. All right, after that, just drive around normal and you're good to go.